So hey guys, my name is Badal, and once again I am here with a new video. And today's topic is Prevost theory of heat exchange, as we have read in timeline. So uh, in today's video, we will first discuss about uh, something about radiation, and and we will go in depth about Prevost theory of exchange. So let's start our video. Okay, before starting the video, let me give you some idea that what is radiation. Actually, radiation is the you know how any matter or a an, any substance emit energy in which form. Uh, that form of energy is called radiation, and the radiation, the speciality of radiation is. It, is that it does not need any material medium to just you know travel like uh, energy coming from the sun is coming in form of radiation and all that so now let's come to our main topic which is prevost theory of radiation so in 1972 pierre prevost was the scientist who put forward this theory about uh, radiation in which uh, he told he gives the statement that according to his theory all body radiates thermal radiation at all temperature the amount of thermal radiation radiated per unit time depends on the nature of the emitting surface and its area and its temperature so let's go in detail with uh, in the statement with uh, two examples you know the basic examples we take that uh, when you place a cup of coffee in uh, on your table so if you leave that cup of uh, coffee for several hours then after few hours you will realize that the coffee coffee has got cold and it is not uh, as hot as that when you have placed so what had happened here uh, the some energy has radiated out from the cup of coffee and uh, if we take another example and place some cubes of ice um, in in plate uh, in sunny days uh, outside the window so after few minutes what you will observe that the ice has got melted so in both the case what has actually happened uh, in the first case uh, of the coffee we have seen that the radiation is coming out and in the second case some radiation is going inside so according to this theory all body radiates thermal radiation at all temperature so uh, you you must be thinking that how can an ice radiate uh, thermal energy as we see that it is getting colder and most of the uh, as we see that it is getting hotter and uh, the ice is converting into liquid phase uh and you will think that it absorbs energy from the atmosphere and it gets hotter how can it radiate any thermal energy but uh, according to pierre prevost he says that yeah yeah it is you know emitting a thermal uh, radiation but the ratio between the energy radiated and energy absorbed is you know uh, energy absorbed is very uh, very high than energy radiated so so here uh, according to pierre prevost says that an ice absorbs uh, very high, uh, more energy as compared to the energy it radiates similar to the coffee in similar case of the coffee the coffee radiates very uh, you know too much of energy as compared to the energy absorbed by the coffee so this was all about this theory and so at last let me conclude the total video so we have discussed here about the the actual statement about the theory prevost theory of the uh, theory of exchange which was uh, uh, which was all body radiates thermal energy Uh, at all temperature the amount of thermal uh, radiation radiated per unit time depends on the nature of the emitting surface and its area and temperature
so this we have discussed in this video and hope we will um, you we will meet in next video till then thank you and have a nice day and at last don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, so thank you